Fly Guy Presents The White House by Ted Arnold Read by Mr. Kilby Fly Guy Presents The White House A boy had a pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Buzz and Fly Guy walked through the gates of the White House. Cool, said Buzz. This is where the President of the United States lives and works. Fly Guy did a loop the loop. He was excited. He zoomed ahead of Buzz and flew inside. The address of the White House is 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. It is located in Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States. Map of the United States. Hundreds of people work at the White House every day. A White House meeting with President Obama. The Secret Service, the Chief of Staff, the Press Secretary, speechwriters, and several advisors work with the President. Secret Service Agent, Press Secretary, and a team of chefs, butlers, maids, florists, electricians, and plumbers keep the place running smoothly. Beekeeper. There's even a beekeeper! The president is the leader of the United States and the head of our government. The president also represents our country around the world and is the leader of the armed forces. President Johnson in Vietnam. The president's family is called the first family, the Obama family. The president's wife is called the first lady. She welcomes guests to the White House for ceremonies and special events. If a president is not married, a friend or a relative may act as first lady. Eleanor Roosevelt, Jackie Kennedy. When a woman is elected president, a husband, friend, or relative may fill this role. First lady. Every four years, Americans vote in a presidential election. Any American citizen who is 18 or older can vote, including presidential candidates. Barack Obama casting his vote. Voters. William H. Taft casting his vote. A ballot is a list of people who want to be president. Voters in each of the 50 states mark a ballot to make their choice. Ballot. The candidate who wins the election moves into the White House with his or her family. The previous president moves out. Clinton family moving into White House while Bush family moves out. All of the presidents have had their portraits painted. Many portraits hang in the White House. William H. Harrison was president for only 32 days. President Washington chose the location of the country's new capital city. It was named in his honor. President Washington makes a plan. George Washington lived in New York City while he was president. There was a contest to design the president's house. In July 1792, a builder named James Hoban won the contest. In 1800, President John Adams and his wife Abigail were the first family to move in. They lived there for just five months. The White House in 1807. In 1814, British soldiers set fire to the White House. First Lady Dolly Madison saved a painting from the burning building. 
It took three years to rebuild the house. Dolly Madison saved this painting. Some people think the White House got its name after the fire, but that is not true. The White House has always been painted white. It takes 570 gallons of paint to cover the outside of the building, including the east and west wings. For years, people simply called it the White House. President Theodore Roosevelt made the name official in 1901. He even added it to his stationery. When the White House was first built, it was much smaller. In 1902, President Theodore Roosevelt built an office west of the main house. It was a quiet place for him to work, away from his six children. This new section became known as the West Wing. President Roosevelt and his family, the West Wing. In 1909, President Taft built the first Oval Office. Today's Oval Office was built in 1934 and is still the President's office. The Oval Office has four exits. Two of the doors are hidden and blend into the walls. The President sits there. Prez. Throughout the year, the White House hosts many special events. The Easter egg roll is the largest event. Children race across the lawn, pushing hard-boiled eggs with spoons. 2009, 1953, eggs, 1993. Each November, the president saves one turkey from becoming Thanksgiving dinner. This is called a pardon. The turkey lives the rest of its life on a farm. President George H.W. Bush pardoning a turkey. The president leads two special holiday ceremonies, the lighting of the national Christmas tree and the lighting of the national Hanukkah menorah. The national Christmas tree, the national Hanukkah menorah. Today, the White House has 132 rooms and 35 bathrooms. There are four floors, a basement, and a sub-basement. There are 412 doors, 147 windows, 28 fireplaces, 8 staircases, and 3 elevators. Up to 140 people can eat dinner in this room. Situation Room. This soundproof basement room is the President's Command Center. People work here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The President joins them when there is a national emergency. Big House. East Room. This is the largest room in the White House. Seven weddings and a prom have been held here. President Lyndon B. Johnson signing the Voting Rights Act in the East Room. The White House isn't just a place to work. The President has fun there, too. There's a 46-seat movie theater, a bowling alley, a golf putting green, a swimming pool, and a tennis court. President Clinton... President Nixon. President Obama painted lines on the tennis court to use it as a basketball court. President Obama. Many children have lived and played in the White House. President Lincoln's son, Tad, once let two goats pull him around the house. President Carter's daughter, Amy, roller skated at the White House. Amy Carter, and President Kennedy's son, John Jr., often played under his dad's desk. President Kennedy and John Jr. There is a secret door in the desk. (laughs) 
Lots of, pe lots of pets have lived in the White House, too. More than 100 dogs have lived there. Millie, Liberty, Bo, King Timaho, Vicky, and Pasha. The White House has even had alligators. President Hoover's son had two pet alligators that liked to crawl around outdoors. And it has been said that President John Quincy Adams had a house guest who brought a live alligator to stay at the White House. President Theodore Roosevelt's kid had a pony, bears, a hyena, a pig, a macaw, cats, dogs, snakes, a badger, kangaroo rats, a flying squirrel, guinea pigs, and more. Eli Yale. No pet flies. President Kennedy's daughter, Caroline, had a pony named Macaroni. Macaroni. I guess not. Some say the president and his or her family aren't the only ones who live at the White House. Ghosts might live there, too. The ghost of Abigail Adams has been spotted hanging laundry in the East Room. President Taft's staff said they saw her. Abigail Adams. The most famous ghost is that of President Lincoln. People say that his ghost haunts the second floor and his former bedroom. His ghost knocks on doors and sometimes stands at a window. The Lincoln bedroom. A Lincoln bedroom window. Celebrities visit the White House. Famous singer Elvis Presley visited President Nixon, 1970. Pope John Paul II was the first pope to visit the famous house, 1979. Queen Elizabeth II has visited the White House many times, beginning in 1957 when she made her first state visit to America. 1957, 2007. President Jefferson opened the White House to visitors so anyone can tour the president's home for free. Even Fly Guy has visited. You landed on the president's forehead? I am famous. It was such an honor to visit the president's house, Buzz told Fly Guy. Maybe we'll work there one day. Yes. Buzz and Fly Guy could not wait for their next field trip.